In this video, we will talk about the invoke method activity. This activity helps us call a method outside the standard built-in activities. You can use this activity if you want to call a specific method in a class. When using this activity, you must be familiar with the target attributes, the target type, and the target object. And you can refer to the Microsoft documentation to find the different methods that you can use and I will paste the link in the video's description. Returning to the activity, use the target type attribute when calling a static method. For example, is the triparse method. Static methods have the keyword static. If it doesn't, then it is an instance method. The list.add method is an example of an instance method. And for instance method, we need to use the target object attribute. For sample purposes, we will use the triparse method. This method returns a boolean and an integer output. In this workflow, we have three variables, the str num of type string, int num of type int32, and the parse success of type boolean. Here we have an assign activity that assigns a value to a string variable. In the next assign activity, we try to parse a string variable into an integer. When using the try parse method in the assign activity, it can only return one output, which is the boolean type. So we assign it to the parse success variable. The first log message activity will print the int num value and the second one will print the parse success value. If we run it, we can see that the int num value or variable value is zero and the parse success variable value is false. The conversion fails because the variable value contain letters. If we remove the letters, and rerun the workflow, the int num variable value is still zero, but the parse success is now true. The reason why the int num variable is zero is again that assign activity can only return one output. If you want to use a method to generate several pieces of output, we can use the invoke method activity. Let's delete the assign activity and replace it with an invoke method Try parse is a static method so that we will use the target type and select in32 in the method name we will input try parse set the parameters add one for the string with in direction and another for the in32 using the out direction assign the variable Hit OK. Assign the parse success variable to the result property. Run it. And the int num variable value is now 1 to 3 and the parse success is still true. Using the invoke method activity, we were able to generate two outputs. Another sample we can use is the add method of the list class. In this workflow, we have variable name animals of type list of string and here we initialize the variable by assigning three animals name then we use a log message activity to print the variable values using the string that join function if we want to add an animal name we can use the invoke method list that add method is an instance method so we need to use the target object attribute and input the object in this case that is the animals variable input add in the method name set the parameters and add one string with in direction and in the value field we can input like chicken hit ok we will copy this log message activity to print the new values of the animal variable click run and this is the output here we have the initial value of the variable and the updated value after we execute the invoke method that is all for this video if you like and enjoy it please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed 
see you in the next UiPath video.